I did think about we could have lost our life going out that door. Minutes from danger, a woman and her niece narrowly escape bullets. Tonight, the FDLE is investigating that deadly deputy-involved shooting. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Thanks for joining us. On Monday, the Osceola County Sheriff's Office released this surveillance video from outside that Kissimmee Target. Now, a viewer spotted her car in the video and called News 6. Treasure Roberts is live in the newsroom now with her story. And Treasure, that woman is still frightened about all of this two weeks after the shooting. Yeah, Lisa, she is frightened. She said it was just an awful experience. She believes it was poorly handled by the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. We were just like totally stunned. On the evening of April 27th, Eva Waters and her niece made a Target run on the search for Disney souvenirs. You just don't go to Target and think that you're going to run into something like that. I mean, you have to be aware of your surroundings, but you know, that that was a very scary thing to experience. That same evening in the Target parking lot, Osceola County deputies opened fire into a car, killing 20-year-old Jaden Bayes. According to their attorney, 19-year-old Joseph Lowe and 18-year-old Michael Gomez were also shot. Records show stolen Pokemon cards and pizza led to the deadly shooting. For somebody to lose their life for $46 and I think 20 cents over a frozen pizza and Pokemon cards, it tells you that it was a very, it's a sad, and it also tells you that how gun happy um, and aggressive that Osceola County Sheriff's Department was. This is Waters' white vehicle pulling into the parking lot. The surveillance video timestamped at 702 shows she and her niece walking into the store. Just four minutes later, the video captured deputies boxing in a black Audi with Bayez, Lowe, and Gomez inside. While inside the store, Waters says other customers said they heard gunshots. I'm more afraid and it's caused me total anxiety and my niece as well. She doesn't even want to go to Target anymore. Later, when they walked out, she says they didn't know what to expect. I did think about we could have lost our life going out that door. Water says this could have been handled better and she still has many questions. The FDLE is still investigating this case. As soon as we get updates, we will update you. In the newsroom, Treasure Roberts getting results, News 6.